omg hey so before this video starts i wanted to say that this clip that you guys are about to see i was already filming before that and decided not to put that clip in because it was just completely irrelevant there was no point so there's no proper intro here but hey my name is Aaliyah. um and if you guys mess with me by the end of this video make sure that you like comment and subscribe i love you guys so much even if i don't know you for real mwah, you're so appreciated for clicking on my video thank you and enjoy this video okay i couldn't fix the exposure but i feel like it just looks better in this position right here oh my god i am so fucking excited before we start i just want to say that i'm reading a court of thorns and roses right now and it is taking me forever to finish that fucking book it's literally been almost a week and i still have like over a, a thousand who imagine over a hundred over 300 pages to read no like 200 actually no i think there's like 400 pages in that book so and i'm only like on 150 or some shit like that so i just might start one of these books while i'm reading a court of thorns and roses just because a court of thorns and roses is a fantasy so i feel like it'll be easy to separate the two while i'm reading them and i won't get like confused i are you ready? Okay, so we have our book. I almost started opening it, not on camera. I already kind of like saw what the first book was. I didn't take it out yet, but oh my god, and it's a hardcover. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? <laughs> Shit, bitch, fuck. Okay, so I got this book. Um, I'm so sorry that I don't know how to fix the exposure. This is a book that I'm sure you guys have heard of. It was, it's been very popular. Um, I'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCurdy. I'm so excited because girl, now you know how much I loved you growing up. And then I got three more books. I think this is three books. Um, yeah, it's three books. I'm like trying to feel. But this is a book talk thing. Wow, this is so crazy the way this exposure is. I cannot believe. There we go. <laughs> I guess I just got to turn that bitch. Um, so it says, tell me you love books without telling me you love books. I have to take a picture of that because what? Um, so, oh, you can see the books on the side. Oh, this is four books. One of them is a fantasy, so that's a little exciting. So we're gonna open it. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like literally in a little case. I think that's so cute. What? Run, don't walk. I don't really get that, but. Okay, so we have this book, which I know is super popular in the book talk, booktube realm, which is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I know that this is like a thriller. Bro, this is gonna piss me off because you guys can't really see. I have seen a lot of people read this book and I've heard a lot of good reviews. I also know that it is part of a series. So hopefully it's good so that I want to buy the next one. The next book is called House of Salt and Sorrows. I know that this is a fantasy um, and it looks short. So, oh, this is so flimsy. I love it. I pay attention to stuff like this, the flimsiness of books because I'm reading A Court of Thorns and Roses right now and that shit is not flimsy and it's so annoying. But this is only, oh, whoa. Okay, this is actually close to 400 pages. It didn't feel that thick, but. And then I have this book, it's called Gilded Ones. I've actually never seen anybody talk about this book, but it was included in the book talk thing. That's what that little thing was. Um, so yeah, apparently this is supposed to be popular on Big book talk, but I've never, I don't have TikTok. So like, I wouldn't know what you guys are into these days anyways, but um, <laughs> now this book, I've heard a lot about We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I've heard so many Rick's Rixed. I've heard so many mixed reviews on this book that I genuinely don't know how to feel. I've heard this one girl, I'm gonna try to find the video, but this one girl was saying how much she absolutely hates this book. And I was like, really? Oh, okay. Um, 
but then I've also heard other people say that this book was one of the best books that they've read so I don't I don't know everybody's book taste is different so I'm I don't really take recommendations from people um serious I don't want to say serious but like I don't I don't take them to heart because it's like you might hate a book that I absolutely love and you might love a book that I absolutely hate so yeah what's up you guys so we're back on the og camera the iphone xs i think that's what this is i don't know what happened to my camera i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna like take a clip i'm gonna record myself right now and put it on the screen oh wait it doesn't look that bad when i start recording oh i most definitely could have finessed that <laughs> that's crazy i already started on my phone so we're just gonna continue i am just gonna do a little reading right now i started reading i'm glad my mom died by janem mccurdy literally a childhood favorite character i really like how it is so far um i am on chapter 11 page 45 so i actually started this book today but i had to work today so i didn't really have much time to read it so i only got to page 45 so i am determined to finish this by tomorrow because it only has i don't even think it has 300 pages you guys oh wait it does okay it has 304 but I feel like I can breeze through a 300 page book. So I'm gonna read as much as I can tonight and we're just gonna read together, you and I, together for always. Okay, let's read. So excited. How long have I been recording? Okay. It is the next day. It is like 11. It's probably 11 o'clock. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.35 p.m. It's only 10.35. That's crazy. I kind of like the fact that I have to record on my phone now because it was so easy to just pull out my phone and be like, <laughs> hey. Okay. I'm about to finish, or not finish the book because I'm definitely not going to finish it tonight. I have like over a hundred pages left so let's see i'm on page i'll put you guys right here for a minute oh, oh it was a little chilly outside so i was <laughs> i was layered up um i'm on page one night yeah i'm on page 196 and there's 304 pages so i have like a little over 100 pages left so i I'm gonna read as much as I can and then I'm probably gonna finish the book tomorrow morning because I have to wake up early so I'm not gonna stay up too too late but I am going to stay up and read as much as I can probably like 50 more pages okay it's the next day. It's like 10 o'clock right now, probably, or almost. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.46 a.m. It's 9.46. I started reading at like 7.30 this morning. I'm such a slow reader. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> now I get to take a new book with me to work today, and that was the only goal. I wanted to be able to finish this this morning so that I can start a new one. At work. Now, normally I don't rate books as soon as I finish them because the way that I rate a five star book is based off of how much I'm thinking about that book in the following days of me finishing the book. It's literally been like not even five minutes since I finished the book. So 
I was like, I can't give that rating. But I already know that this is going to be a five star read. This is going to be one of those books that I recommend to everybody. This is probably going to be the book that I recommend to my grandma when she comes to visit me. This right here is gold. Okay, like literally, I. she did so amazing with this. I'm so proud of her and I love that she was able to just get everything out there on paper and really tell her story, you guys. Like... The fact that she decided to do this in a memoir style is amazing. I love that for her. This might be a six star read actually. I think this is gonna be my six star read. And that says a lot because I'm rating this five minutes after reading it, after completing it. So, and there's only one other book that I rated. Like I, I knew I was gonna rate it five stars before I even finished it. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna rate it just yet. I'm gonna wait a little bit. And sure enough, a couple, <laughs> And sure enough, a couple days later, that book was still on my mind. And I was like, okay, I was right. This is a five-star read. And I know that that's going to be the case with this one. Now, I get to start November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I'm actually already on like page 37 or something like that. Because I actually started that book last month after I finished Verity. But I was kind of tired of reading Colleen Hoover books because... Verity was the third Colleen Hoover book I had read in a row and wait because Verity was the fourth Colleen Hoover book that I read in a row like when I started my reading era it started with reminders of him and then it ends with us and then it starts with us and then Verity and then I was gonna go right to November 9 but I started where the crawdads sing but you know it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter I have to pee so fucking bad third book down Wait, third book of December, down. I cannot believe that. We're not even two weeks in. And I told myself that I wanted to read three books for the month of December. And we're not even three weeks, no, we're not even two weeks in and I've already read three books. What? You're too sexy for this world. She had bad, she had booty. Off the nigga, she's shaking that booty. Every morning is sizzly time. Good morning, you guys. It's like a week later, to be honest. I don't know, what's today's date? I think I think it's the 20th. Oh my, what? Thank you for getting all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Is my necklace on? Oh, it is. I wanted to say something though before I do like the outro outro, even though I don't really have an outro because I suck at outros. But I guess I really just came on here to say that I did not get the silent patient. The book that I literally was like, yeah i didn't pick it up i didn't pick it up mostly because i really shouldn't have been buying a book at all that day but i wanted one and i also needed some content i needed you know so i wanted to get the cheapest book and that book was like 15 dollars. but 
book lovers by emily henry was like 13 or something i don't i don't know it really wasn't that much of a difference but i also kind of didn't want to read like a thriller mystery sort of thing in december so i'm still gonna buy it because i heard that's a really good book to buy i mean to read if you're in a book slump and i have not gotten in a book slump yet i have a few books that i want to read um this is going to be my next one right now and i've never i've never heard a bad review about this book everybody i've actually heard nothing but five star reviews about this book um it's a little intimidating because it's very long and the last long book that i read was a court of thorns and roses and that book took me a really long time to finish but in my defense i had a lot going on that week <laughs> Right now, I'm reading Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. So far, this is a really good book, and I've had this book since October, and it took me a really long time to pick it up because I read the first two pages, and I was like, this is in third fucking person, and I was like, I can't do it. Yeah, I really don't like books that are in third person, but I read Where the Crawdads Sing, and that book is also in third person, and it's a pretty good book. So, and this book is not, that book is like a, this book that book this book that book oh my god where the crawdads sing is a literary fiction so it was a bit of a harder read because it was very descriptive um and so half of you know what we're not going to talk about that this book is not a literary fiction it is a novel and i mean that's a novel too but what uh this is this is a domestic fiction slash romance in my opinion um but yeah in the back it says morgan rogers is a queer black millennial she writes books for queer girls who are looking for their place in the world, blah, 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 And yeah, I really like that because she represents it very well. I have like uh, less than 100 pages left. So probably going to finish to the... Uh, probably gonna finish this today i hope i do finish it today um and yeah be on the lookout for reading vlogs um book wrap-ups i'm gonna do book wrap-ups every other month so my book wrap-up for november and december will be coming that like first week of january hold me to it hold me to it but yeah thank you for watching this video i appreciate you guys so 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 much and I will see you in my next video.